just helping people in their time of need. I mean, the, you know, the people that are having the worst, worst time of their life, their life at that moment, and you're there to make it better. And that's, that's the big part about it. And the reason that volunteers has remained important to us is just to, to supplement that, that unit and make responses faster. Uh, we still maintain six uh, true volunteer departments throughout the county. And so we're just trying to uh, enhance those numbers as we move forward. <laughs> My dad's been doing it for 26 years, something like that. You know, my whole life I've been around the fire department, a little running around the fire station, getting in the trucks, all kind of stuff, you know, going to calls with them. It's really been a dream of mine since I was little. That, that was a big reason why I do it. We depend very heavily on those volunteers. We still average in about 65 on our roster right now, um, but we want those numbers, of course, to be bigger. They're in, in smaller areas that, that don't have full-time call volume is much lower in those areas, but still a need for fire protection, very much a need for them. I'm Carson McElhaney. Um, I volunteer with Dorset County Fire Rescue. My station is Station 5 in Reesville. Uh, we need people to do all sorts of things. And, you know, one of them being driving trucks, another one being helping out on scenes, another one maybe be just directing traffic, you know, and, and keeping them away from the crews that are working. I go around, you know, hang out with the guys, talk to them. You know, have them, they need help cleaning the station, I help clean the station, uh, clean up after fires, anything of the sort. Anything they need, I'm here to help. We have volunteers that just come in and, and hand out bottles of water to the, to the staff that's working. We have volunteers that come in and drive just trucks and maintain those trucks. They come in and check these stations and make sure they're ready. Washing the truck, doing, doing the laundry, doing dishes, anything of the sort, wherever. You're one of the guys, even though you're a volunteer, you're still, you feel like a full-time individual because you're there, you're one of them. Hey, maybe I can just come help keep the books or, or I can hand out the water or whatever. And they just, because they want to give back their community that they live in. You name it, there's so many job functions that go on that people don't realize. They think it's all about running in that burning building. Try it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. it. You know, I mean, it can't hurt to try it. Either, and I always say, either you love the fire service or you don't. There's, there's not really much in between. We've got several that have been on and they come in and they, they volunteer with us for a little while and say, hey, you know, this is just not my game. And they move on to something else or they find out this is a passion and how can I get more classes and, and how do I get to the career side? So we've had both, both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> To walk in as a volunteer, you need a, a high school diploma and a driver's license. On our website, we have a uh, QR code that you can scan, get your application, fill it out, it sends it in electronically to us. Or you stop by our headquarters office in St. George or any of the fire stations, and they'll point you in the right direction to get you to the volunteer application. Having that supplement or either uh, just that extra person on scene sometimes makes a big difference to, to what's going on. You'll either try it and love it and never want to do anything else, or it's just not for you, and that's something you can find out. You just got to give it a shot.